Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be doing a headless setup of a Raspberry Pi using Ubuntu. So I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi 4 for this video, and I'll put a link in the description of one of those on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link in the description to my Raspberry Pi playlist where I have other Raspberry Pi projects and builds. So I'm on an Ubuntu 18.04 desktop, and the first thing you want to do is download a Raspberry Pi image. So if you go to the raspberrypi.org website and click Downloads, and then scroll down, I'm going to use Raspbian, and then I'm using Raspbian Lite, but this should work with the other builds too. So I've already downloaded this, so I'll close this screen. Next I need to write an image to the SD card. So I'm going to be using the Raspberry Pi Imager software, and I did a video on this, that's in my Raspberry Pi playlist. So I need to choose an OS, I'll click this, I'll scroll down to say Use Custom, and then I'll choose the one I downloaded earlier. I'll hit Open, and then it says choose SD card. So I'm going to plug in my SD card to the reader. I'm using a 32 gig card. I'll click choose card. I'm going to choose my card reader and then I'll click write. It's going to ask for my password. Okay, it says I can remove the SD card from the reader. I'll click continue and I'll close this software. Then I'll open up my file manager. And I want to go to the boot drive. I'll minimize this a little bit. So now I want to go to my terminal. I'll type touch, space, and then I'll go on here to my boot drive and I'll drag one over to just any file over to my terminal. Then I can go here and I'll change this to be SSH. So you could research and find out this path and type it in, but I found it's easy just to drag a file from the file manager to the terminal and then modify it. So this is going to create a file called SSH in that boot directory. I'll hit enter. We'll scroll down here. We should see SSH down here, right here. So this will enable an SSH server on the Raspberry Pi. So now I can close this. I'll leave my terminal up. I'll go into my files and actually I'll eject the boot partition. I'll take that out. I'll put that in the Raspberry Pi and then we'll connect to it. Okay, so I have the SD card plugged into the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi is plugged into ethernet and it's plugged into power. It doesn't have a keyboard or mouse or anything else hooked up to it. So I'll clear my terminal here, and then I can type ping raspberrypi.local. And once the Raspberry Pi boots up, this should uh, return a ping. Okay, there we go. So that can take a minute or two. I'll clear my screen. So now I can use SSH to connect to the Raspberry Pi. So I'll type SSH pi at raspberrypi.local. It's going to say the authenticity can't be established, so I'm going to say yes so it remembers this computer. Then I'll type in Raspberry for the password. So now I'm in the Raspberry Pi. And the reason this works is because the Raspberry Pi and Ubuntu both support like a zero comp uh, DNS resolution. So now that we're in the Raspberry Pi, we can type IP space A and we can get the IP address. So right here we see it's 192.168.7.206. So if you want to set up multiple Raspberry Pis, you really want to change the host name on this Pi. So I'll clear my screen. I'll type sudo space hostname ctl space set dash hostname. And then I'll give it a new name. I'll call it Raspberry Pi 001. You don't have to put dot local here. I'll hit enter. And now I can reboot it. So now I'll press my up arrow till I get to my Raspberry Pi SSH command and I'll add 001 here and we'll see if it's booted yet. Yes. So I need to verify the authenticity again. I'll type yes and I'll type the password. And there we go, we logged in. So you're probably gonna to wanna to change your password so you can type P-A-S-S-W-D. And if you do that, it's gonna ask for your current password and then your new password. I'm gonna cancel out of this for now. And then you can also type sudo space raspy dash config and you can change the Raspberry Pi settings. So typically I'll go through the localization options and change some things there. And I have a video about this on my Raspberry Pi playlist too if you want to check that out. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.